morning folks, it is Sunday the 14th of June 2020 uh, As you can probably see by the title, we're up at Harbottle uh, We're going to have a look at Harbottle Castle and the uh, the Drake Stone But that's probably in the title so you know already So uh, yeah. Let's do it Car park for the castle shut, so I'm guessing they don't want you in there. Uh, as you can see, it's just the uh, ruins of it. quite surprised that it's not very busy at all um, everywhere I've gone recently it's been quite busy and wild garlic you can smell it too uh, yeah I think more people than ever seem to be coming out uh, yeah I, I saw statistics something like there was like 70% of people uh, interviewed across in the Lake District had never been there before so people are taking I don't know taking advantage of furlough or lockdown or whatever to uh, enjoy the countryside it's a bit silly in some places but uh, I guess it's for the good I'm feeling a bit better now uh, I mean, mentally, I had, to, had to really give myself a kick in the backside this morning to get out and get going. Like I say, it was, uh, it was foggy down the coast, and uh, yeah. The important thing is, I'm out, and I'll feel better for it. It's kind of a whatever the opposite of a vicious circle is. It's a uh, self-fulfilling prophecy don't know what man about they've emerged from the uh, forest there uh, up onto the fields uh, yeah, you still see it's a bit low cloud but uh, pretty canny you can also hear me puffing and panting because I'm out of practice. No new there. Uh, suppose everybody's the same. Got to get back to fitness. What relatively small amount of it I had. Ah, that lovely. Cool. Pretty impressive. Old lime kilns. So obviously not many people uh, get up this way because that's in really good condition, isn't it? under the road but uh, I've got to go along this way a bit and I've got the feeling that we're going up that way so a bit of a climb and there's not much wind and I'm roasting ok 
clouds lifting a bit now. That's uh, all winter and over there. We used to go and park near there, and uh, there used to be lots of uh, green lanes you can use. I think there's a one going up the hill there. We used to go up uh, Clennell Street, all kinds of stuff, but uh, there's a they put a traffic restriction order on. I mean, they're all historical roads that used to be used by by vehicles, but uh, just they're not maintained. And uh, well, I'm hoping that's the end of the climbing because uh, I had to stop and take my jacket off. I don't know if you can see the state of it. But uh, the next stretch, we cut off this, this main drag come from that way and uh, head off up that way and into the forest cut the corner oh, this is crazy it's like the enchanted forest oh that's better without the jacket on much cooler now I set off I thought I was it's gonna rain, I got my poncho and everything, put that fleece jacket on. Oh man, what a crazy country. <sighs> well the climbing wasn't over. And it still isn't. Oh man. Why do I always underestimate these walks? Just a five mile walk along the riverside and then through a forest. Simple as that. <laughs> Hopefully that's all the claiming done. But anyway, I'm strolling along here and I'm looking all along the way. Concrete fence posts. Some poor sod has had to fetch all of those concrete fence posts up here and plant them. I mean they look kind of a uh, kind of sort of Second World War possibly military style so I wonder if that forms the boundary to the edge of the, uh, the military firing ranges for, for Otterburn in that area it's possible I mean only the army surely only the army would would build a fence in a forest oh you rascal you never know Might be the end of the climbing now. It's a funny old world. Um, I've not seen anyone at all on the trail today until five minutes ago. And there's a couple stopped and had a quick chat with them. And uh, bearing in mind I've driven about 40 miles to get here. Uh, and that couple uh, lived in Seg Hill which is half a mile up the road from where I live in uh, Seaton Delaval. Sorry, they live in Seaton Sluice, so they're right on the coast. And I'm about half a mile, a mile inland from there. We come all this way, hours drive, 40 mile, and that's the only people I see. Crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy. And that's the craziest thing I want to hear today. Love this. This is my first proper uh, proper out since the you know what. Um, you're allowed to drive uh, unlimited distance, I think, on long, as long as uh, your uh, exercise amounts to more time than you're driving, which is certainly true in this case. So there you go. <coughs> Well, that's as I understand it at the minute, so who knows? Something about bubbles and things at the minute, which I'm not quite sure about. Which probably means nothing to anyone not based in the UK. Uh, some delirious. Right, I'll fetch you back in a bit. Just like that, 
we emerge from the forest so that that is a uh, Harbottle Lake and over there that is the Drake Stone There's a few more folk now, but it's not uh, not ridiculous. Wow. Somewhere down there is the car. Right. I don't know what you can see in that picture but uh, I think I've damaged the viewing screen in fact I'm sure I have so I can't see what I'm filming very well but uh, hopefully it's a drake stone up there um, yeah the descent's been quite tricky it's very rocky towards the top of it and uh, quite narrow and steep on the way down but like like I say I don't think we're far from the car to be honest, but that's the way it goes. Oh, there you go, back to the car. That was a good one, enjoyed that. Uh, shame about uh, breaking the camera, but uh, might be able to fix that. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, see you again soon.